week's videos are brought to you by us, Book Riot. On November 7th and 8th in New York City, we're hosting Book Riot Live. It's our first reader convention. It celebrates the spirit of play, the excitement for books that you know and love from Book Riot, from this here YouTube channel, and from what you've seen us do all over social media. Margaret Atwood will be there. Daniel Jose Older will be there. Sarah McLean, N.K. Jemison, Beverly Jenkins. Writers from all genres, because that's how we do. People who work in publishing. We've got book designers and editors and agents you'll be able to buy awesome bookish t-shirts. You can come to a cocktail party and hang out with us in the rare book room at the Strand Bookstore, which is gorgeous. And a whole bunch of surprises that we haven't been able to tell you about yet. Go to bookriotlive.com to get more information and to register, and we'll see you in New York on November 7th and 8th for Book Riot Live. Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and for today's reader question, I want to talk about books you loved that everyone else hated. As many of you know, I'm sure, have heard by now, uh, E.L. James released a new book in the Fifty Shades of Grey universe called Grey that is a retelling of the first book from the male main character's point of view. So it's the, it's the same story, just retold from the guy. And as with everything, Fifty Shades of Grey, when we wrote about it or talked about it um, on the site, most of the comments that we got were about how horrible E.L. James's works are. And that got me thinking about how she's one of the best-selling authors of this decade, and the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy is one of the best-selling trilogies of all time. So obviously it's got readers who love it, who are dedicated fans, um, because all three books sell well. This new book has broken sales records, which means that people who are familiar with the character of Christian Grey have gone out and bought it because they liked it. Um, so there's this really interesting dissonance between what I'm hearing, which is that everyone hates Fifty Shades of Grey, and what I'm seeing in the numbers, which is that everybody loves Fifty Shades of Grey. And this is actually a pretty common phenomenon when we talk about romance novels in general. We get uh, comments like, oh, I never read romance, or it's trash, or whatever, but the traffic that we get on posts about romance novels leads me to believe that, you know, the commenter doth protest too much. So I got to thinking about books that I've read that I really loved, but that were like panned critically or have a bad rep in the book world and things like that. I can't, I can't honestly think of many. I read all of the Fifty Shades of Grey books. I was a bookseller when the trilogy first came out. Um, and felt like I needed to know, like, I felt like I needed to read them so I could talk to my customers about them, and, yeah, I, did, I didn't, I didn't really like them very much. Um, I mean, if you like them, no shade. They just weren't really my bag. Uh, there's a similar thing with Twilight, which makes sense, of course, because Fifty Shades of Grey is Twilight fanfiction, where Twilight was hugely popular, but it's, like, the cool thing now to talk about how much you don't like it. And, you know, sub point, don't get on me about how the books are problematic. I know they're problematic. That's not what this is about. Moving on. One, one example I can think of is Catherine Stockett, I think is her name, um, her book The Help that came out a couple years ago and of course it was made into a movie about uh, a white girl in the 60s who is raised by her family's black maid. It's supposed to be about the, the lives of these black women who had to leave their own families and go work for these white families and essentially raise these white children who would then go on to be racist themselves. And the book totally justifiably got a lot of criticism for having a white savior, for the way that the black characters are written speaking a certain dialect while the white characters are written speaking kind of normal English. And, and there, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the book that's problematic. And I think the reason that I personally liked it is because my mother was raised by her family's black maid. So she had a very similar kind of story and she would tell me stories about this woman who basically raised her when she was, you know, a kid in, in southeastern Virginia. And so I had those stories in the back of my head already, and the tale was kind of familiar to me, uh, which is why I think I liked it, you know, and, and didn't really notice the more problematic elements of it the first time that I read it. But, of course, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, meh, but I still liked it. I don't know. I own a copy. Your fame is problematic. There it is. Everybody's favorite things are problematic. So that was all a very roundabout way of asking. What I meant to ask is, what books did you love that everyone else hated? What I think I've ended up asking is, what books do you like despite the fact that they're problematic? You can answer either of those questions. I'm interested in both answers. 
Um, so just leave your thoughts in the comments below and I will talk to y'all later.